Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program for a very special Let's announcement. <laughs> My name is Jen. She's a friend of mine. I want to tell you about a show called Stairwells in Time. Stairwells. 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 Stairwells in Time. There's something your grandmother said about history repeating itself. She's right. I know how I felt about my father. I'd like you to, to feel better than that about me. You both look stunning. Oh, Everybody geez. does. I had no idea it was going to be so dressed up. Oh, Sally, you're fine. I really love you, And that was at the movies. Oh, kids, you should have been there. Oh, Molly, you yeah. should have been there. Oh, I was, I was coming up. You come on. Oh, well, you've got that in your pants, haven't you? Great big thing. She's been really good, haven't you? Of Molly? course she has. She's my gorgeous gal, aren't you, Peaches? Yeah. So did you bring us home a truckload of money or what? Yeah. Uh, not much money, but you should have seen what happened when Mr. Edwina went for us. Mr. Edwina. Oh, that was his horse that went nuts. It's just got the spooks that ran everywhere. <laughs> Sam, it's only a suit. Oh, oh my only suit. <laughs> well, at least you didn't get hurt. Oh, what about shock? I mean, I'm just lucky the tent pole stopped in my pants. I could have been seriously. Oh, yeah, well, this is a bit tricky because it's torn the cloth and not the seam. Right, the whole thing's been a total disaster. Yes, well, you can say that again. No, don't say it again. The promotions company do the guarantees a disaster every time. <laughs> No one's going to touch us with a ten-foot pole after this. Not a ten-pole, anyway. <laughs> there is no such thing as bad publicity. What well, you reckon? It's a lie. Well, I think you're making it out to be worse than it was. I mean, people were very nice about it. The, the horse was caught eventually, and, and there wasn't very much damage done. I'm so sorry. I can't do anything right. No one's arguing, Joe. It was just like having a game of Twister. Oh, I wish it. I'd seen it. I'm going to go and chase this nappy. Oh, <gasps> but, you know, I'm glad I didn't because <laughs> I got so much work done. You'd be very proud of me. Mm, really? Six hours. Well, you're enough. Six? Yes. Are you sure? It's true. Yes, <laughs> yes, ma'am. See, witness. What's the big deal, anyway? No big deal, Brett. <laughs> You know, Mum, worry, 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 <laughs> making a mountain out of a molehill. And what's wrong with that, hmm? What's wrong with a mother just got me brittles? What's wrong with a mother just wanting her babies to succeed in life, hmm? <laughs> Am I interrupting? No. Oh, I couldn't concentrate anyway. Hey, how did you go? Check it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lucky streak? A system? Oh, I didn't know you were so scientific. Science has nothing to do with this little score. Well, are you going to tell me how you did it? Only if you promise never to tell another soul. A promise, I think. My favourite colour is yellow, Hannah's is purple, Helen's is blue, and you're the colours of a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Work like a charm. Oh, I wish I could think of something clever to help me get through all this. In trouble? Oh. Only that I haven't got enough room for physiology. My head's completely full. I'm really worried. Oh. And I don't know what I'm going to say to Bernie and Elgin. Who? All the actors from Stairwells of Time. Well, I suppose because they're actors, they'll know how to have a conversation, won't they? I mean, that's what they're trained to do, isn't it? To communicate with people. And you see, I just don't want to seem like some sort of hick from Australia or anything. Jen, don't you think you've spent enough time on this dumb soap opera? You know what? I am going to win. What are you going to say when I win, hey? I'll make you a coffee. Oh, my God, and I don't know what I'm going to wear. Mm. 